The Atosha National Park fence suffered damages as a result of farmers in the area grazing their livestock inside because of the prevailing drought. Only verbal warnings have so far been issued. The ministry is now busy replacing the damaged fence with elephant-proof fence at the park's northern border and the smaller livestock fences inside the park itself. However, upon closer inspection of the park, the ministry officials found that the farmers were using Etosha fences as a boundary. Environment and Tourism Minister Bohamba Shifeta said this was illegal and interfering with ground patrols at the national park. The fences are supposed to be 10 meters apart for the rangers and the police to patrol in between as well. Since April this year, a contingent of 140 police officers had been deployed there to carry out regular ground and aerial patrols. They can't do, they can't put it there. It's illegal. I've seen it that time. Mm. Wherever it's like that, they must move it within a week. Mm. Within a week, you come here. Yes. We send the team here to go all over, even in the commercial area. Yes. They should remove their fence adjoined to the to the, the Tosha National Park. Mm. It's not allowed. It's prohibited by the law. The park officials had not identified the farmers who are letting their animals cross and graze inside the Atosha. But Deputy Director for Regional Services and Park Management, Boas Erge, informed the minister that they would need official communication first before approaching the conservancy officials and farmers. The Onganjera King's Farm is among those that are bordering on the park's fence. The minister responded, saying the office of the permanent secretary would draft the required letters. It should be a passage, reasonable passage like this. Yeah. This should be the, the last I can go. The last Close pole. To the fence. Yeah. Last pole. Mm. All over. As part of the measures to tighten efforts aimed at battling poaching within the 23,000 square kilometer land area, the ministry had increased its presence on the ground and the investigations into poaching cases which had been rife are still ongoing. However, it is still not clear who is being investigated. Oshana Regional Commander Commissioner Dahangwabo Kashiakumwa, who is stationed at the National Park, with team members from Kunene, Oshodonjuba, Omsati and Oshikoto regions said because of the complexity of the investigations, it was too early to reveal names. The police had not recorded any new cases during the last four weeks. Blanche Corres, NBC News.